Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to house number six of season one. Now, today, this is kind of like a house that you would see in the city. It's really small, but it's not as small as you would think. So it's not as small as a survival house, uh, and you're still going to have plenty of floor space on the inside as well. So let's go over the materials that we will need for this house. We will need pillar quartz blocks, green wool, gray wool, sandstone, cobblestone walls, white carpet, spruce wood slabs, spruce wood stairs, glass, glass panes, and you will need some fences along with those. And that, I know that sounds like a lot of materials, but we're not going to use all of those in this part, so just kind of keep that in mind. So I'm going to start my house, like, so here's our room. I'm going to start back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 blocks out from the... Uh, should 18? Let's move it in a little bit more. We'll start it about here. So, probably around like 15 blocks started out from there. Now, we are going to start on the left side of the house. So, in the left corner of the house, we're going to put a pillar quartz block here. And we're gonna, what we're going to do is we're going to stack this up about 5 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay? Really simple, right? So, next, I want you to take out your gray wool. And we're going to have the gray wool come out about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 blocks. All right. Next, take out your sandstone. And you're going to have your sandstone come all the way up on top of that gray wool. And next, we're going to start on the windows. So keeping your sandstone out, we're going to have it come up three blocks from this corner here. So right next to the pillar quartz. 1, 2, 3. All right. Now take out your green wool. The green wool is going to be the focus point of this house. Now you can use any color you want. Uh, but since we used light blue earlier in the last house, I'm not going to use that again. We're going to be using green wool. So what we're going to do is right next to the sandstone pillar we just added, I want you to take your green wool and stack up two blocks. One, two. Okay. And come three blocks away. Actually, come two blocks away. So on the third block, place another pillar of green wool. One, two. And do the exact same thing one more time. Boom. So what it should look like is you have two windows right next to each other. Now, take your sandstone out again, and you're going to have your sandstone come up and over these green pillars, and one block beyond it. So, it should be basically symmetrical on both sides, just like this. So, really simple, but this is actually the design we want. So, uh, next what we can actually do is we can get rid of this extra piece of sandstone here. And we're actually going to continue with the pillar quartz, though. We're not going to change those at all. And what you're going to do is from here, you're going to stack up three blocks with your pillar quartz. One, two, three. And then on the third block, have it come over and across. So this is where our front door is going to be. So just like this. Now do the exact same thing again on the other side. Boop, just like that. So basically, this is going to be our front door. And then right next to this, again, lay down your gray wool. The gray wool, as you can probably tell, is going to be like our base color here. Besides on the corners where we're going to have our quartz. So next, what I want you to do, I want you to take out your sandstone and take one thing of sandstone and stack this up about one block higher than the door. And just have it come over and across. And now you can see the front is connected. Now this house isn't looking like much yet, but we are getting there. So next, take out your pillar quartz again. Now we're going to come diagonal to the like where the road is. So we're going to take our pillar quartz, come one block diagonal from the sandstone here. And stack it up to about the same height. Okay. Now, take your green wool again. And we're going to stack the green wool up about the same height as well. And we want this wall to be three wide with the green wool. So, three wide just like that. And then, right after that uh, last wall, that last green pillar, add another layer of quartz to add to that. Alright. Now, we're not really going to have a garage on this house. It's really going to be like an outdoor garage if you want to put it that way. It's not even a garage, it's more just a driveway. So next, I want you to take out your gray wool. We're going to have the gray wool come out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 blocks. Whoop, just like that. Okay. Now again, same thing that we kind of did over here. Take out your sandstone. The sandstone's going to go on top of the gray wool. And then, instead of having the sandstone on the corners like we did over there, we're just going to have the green wool touching. So what you're going to do, green wool, again, stack up two blocks. 1, 2, Right next to the pillar quartz. Now, this window, instead of being too wide, it's going to be three. So, one, two, three. On the fourth block, make your window. All right, perfect. Now, let's get rid of this excess cobblestone and gray wool and add another pillar of quartz here. Now, what I want you to do 
is take your sandstone back out and the sandstone is going to stack on top of the gray wool here and boom so our house is finally taking shape it's looking really good so far but we're not even close to being done we still have a lot more to get done now i want you to take out your uh what should we use take out some oak wood planks and some oak wood stairs so what, what i want you to do right next to this pillar on the left side of this 3x3 window or 3x2 I want you to lay down two things of oak wood stairs. One, two. Next to that, take out your pillar quartz block and stack this up two blocks. So one, two. Come one block away and on the second block do the exact same thing. One, two. Oh. One, two. Just like that. All right. So we're gonna do next using your gray wool. Put your gray wool on the bottom part of this block, and same thing with this one over here. And you're just gonna have this one come all the way over and connect. Now this is gonna be like our front porch, okay? So next, take out your cobblestone walls, and you're put a cobblestone wall here on top of the pillar quartz here on both of these. And then you're gonna place one on top of this gray wall to kind of connect the two. And then do the same thing with this wall here to kind of finish it off and make it look like it's a little bit more finished. So next, you can kind of, uh, don't put away your cobblestone walls yet, but you can put away your oak wood planks and stairs. I want you to take out a fence. Now the fence, oh, let me take some more night vision so you guys can continue to see. And some swiftness. Now your fence is, what you're gonna do, your fence is gonna go on top of these cobblestone walls here. Now what this kind of does, the cobblestone walls are a really good base for stuff like this. So what I want you to do is this one over here on the left, you can stack this one up only once, only have one fence. But this one here, I want you to add two. So just like this, okay? And you'll see why a little bit later on. Uh, let's see. Uh, one thing we could do is take out our green wool and on the top of the sandstone over here by this three by two window, we can just kind of take the green wool and kind of stack it up like this with some stair steps. Just like that, really simple. Uh, let's see. Now let's work on the side of the house. So with this house, you can actually make it where it's under there's two floors if you want to like there can be a basement uh, but that's really all up to you if you want to do that we might do that later on but just for now we're going to continue with what we have so using your green or your gray wool i want you to come back one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen blocks okay that should be plenty and actually let's get rid of two boop boop so you should have 13 blocks. Actually, never mind. Go back to 15. We should be good. At first, I was thinking that might be a little bit too much floor space, but I think we're going to be good. So keep it at 15. So again, let's use our sandstone for... Uh, or do we want to use a different material? We could use a different material for the side of the house. Uh, what do we want to do? I'm kind of thinking stone bricks. Let's try stone bricks for the siding, and let's see how it looks. And this is also kind of a house that you see in less developed parts of town. Like, I don't want to say like hoods because that's not always true. But I feel like that's where this kind of house and this style of house actually you'll see the most. Especially in cities. Uh, not saying that all cities are bad. But that's just like an example I'm using. Okay. So, uh, what should we do now? One thing we could do is we're going to come back with our gray wool. And we're going to have the gray wool come back about the same uh, to where this pillar quartz block is there. Alright, and now we're going to be making our back door and our back porch. So, using your gray wool, I want you to get come, have it come back one, two. On the third block, take out your pillar quartz and stack it up two again. Now, you're doing the exact same thing with the cobblestone walls. The cobblestone walls will act as the fence here. And okay, so we're looking really good. Next, what you're going to do is we're going to take our green wool and we're going to stack it up about one, two, three, four, five. Five blocks, okay? Next, take out a piece of, or you will need your regular glass for this, not glass panes, just regular glass. And you're going to stack these up four blocks right next to the pillar of quartz here. One, two, three. Come on, fly. Four, okay? Now, here's where your door is going to be, your back door. The door is going to be too wide. So on the third block, make your next one and basically do the exact same thing. And then on the third and fourth block, you can have them come over and connect and perfect. Now take your gray wool or excuse me, your green wool 
and you're just gonna go right next to the glass again and up and over and connect the two pillars together and voila that's gonna be our back door now again we're not done we still have plenty more to do to kind of connect everything I want you to take out your gray wool again and we're gonna have it come out uh, so we're gonna have it come diagonal back one two three four five and let's go with six for now and we're gonna fine-tune it here in a second now using your sandstone we're kind of be doing the exact same design we've been doing over there so what we're gonna do is you're gonna have your sandstone come all the way over on top of the gray wool and next you're gonna take your green wool out again and you're gonna stack up two blocks right here on this last block here one two now come two blocks away add another one doop doop perfect just like that uh and your sandstone's gonna go on top of this again and instead of having these last two blocks here we're gonna get rid of those two and what you're gonna do is we're gonna take our pillar quartz and have this stack up just like that okay now we're almost done with the outside of the house well besides the roof obviously but we're getting there uh also this last block here let's get rid of the stone brick and add a pillar quartz to kind of continue the theme of the house do 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 there we go that i think that looks a little bit better now it looks a little bit more finished now taking your uh oak wood planks and stairs back out take your oak wood planks and for the back door here what we're gonna do is have two wide like all the way you're gonna have where the cobblestone walls are cobblestone planks you're not oh my goodness uh oak wood planks and then with this quartz block here you're gonna add your stairs and perfect so now that's your back deck this leads you to your backyard perfect okay uh so next what we want to do is we're going to take out our gray wool again and we're having the gray wool come all the way over about to where this last block is and then add a pillar of quartz and stack this up so basically if, if you can notice the sides of the house are perfectly flat there's not too much to them uh but the back and the front will have a little bit more design especially when we're done so next what we're gonna do again your sandstone will go on top of your gray wool and all the way across perfect and this is even yeah it is all right now what we're gonna do with your sandstone is right next we're gonna have a window on the back part of this here this is where our bedroom is gonna be what you're gonna do is have on the corners two wide of sandstone just like this you can stack it up three tall okay and do the same thing on both sides one two one two just like that okay uh and what do we want to do with this here because we really could have two big windows what we could do is add a window here being three tall come two blocks over we could do the exact same thing here and then that could be a window and then one thing i'm actually kind of considering is what if we get rid of the two wide blocks on the sides and turn it into one i think that might look a little bit better so let's do the same thing one two uh let's try three and let's see if three tall will actually work just because all the other windows are two are too tall do the same thing over here and there we go i think that actually looks a little bit better now so now what you're gonna do is the sandstone is going to fill in this extra gap and what you're gonna have next is take your pillar quartz and stack this up one more block above the window here and do the same thing on both sides and next what you're gonna do you're gonna use your sideways quartz uh court pillar blocks here and have them come all the way over and across and connect just like that now with this here stack the sandstone up and perfect then all we're gonna do next is just take your gray wool and have it come over and connect and again using your stone bricks for the siding you're just gonna stack this up do 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 and it should be around four blocks tall five blocks somewhere around there really simple and perfect all right so let's see how we're looking so far so again it looks like a small house but you actually have quite a bit of floor space here that we can actually work with uh so next what we want to do is what do we want to do actually it's a kind of a tricky question uh what how much time are we at we're at 15 minutes so we might call it quits for this part and next part we will start working on the roof 
Uh, and this house should be around maybe three parts, if four, uh, four at max. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I will talk to you guys later. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned in for part two, which will be coming out very soon. Replace water with zero. And okay, so there we go. Now it's one block down, which does make it look a little bit better. Now, here's the reason why you, I think you, sh you should start off with something like a river or something like that. Because